hi everyone welcome to keto blogging and in this video i will show you a alternative way to track your visitors in wordpress website so all you have to know that you can use google analytics to track your number of visitors like how many page visit you are getting the total engagement time bounce rate and all these things but for this you need to log into your google analytics account but what if you want to um, see the number of traffics in your WordPress dashboard? Then you can use a plugin to do that. So you don't have to use Google Analytics to see the number of traffics and key metrics. You can directly see it in your WordPress website. So let me just show you how you can do that. So first of all, let me just go to WordPress dashboard here and I will go to the plugins and I will click on add new. Now I can simply search for independent analytics and here it is independent analytics Google Analytics alternative for WordPress. So let me just install this plugin. So this plugin will work as an alternative way to track your visitors in WordPress. So before installing this plugin let me just run a page speed test and we can check this page speed difference before and after using this plugin. So let's open the page speed inside and let me just paste the website and let's analyze the website first and let me just show you the website independent analytics and here it is so here you will get a lot of features like you can see the number of visitors number of views and you will see the session session durations and you will also get idea about bounce rate and other key metrics in analytics and here in pro version you can also track real time visitors or you can email reports in pdf format or you can see the woocommerce analytics as well so here in this video we are going to use the free plugin and if you want to get more features then you can upgrade it to the pro version so let's check the page speed here and as you can see that i am getting 98 score here and let's check the total size so the total request is 10 request and the size is 127 kv so let me just activate this plugin so let's do that now let me just skip here and as you can see that now our analytics is added here so you're saying that pop matters plugin is blocking rest api so to work this analytics we need to enable the rest api in our website so let me just go to settings and go to pop matters here and i will enable the rest api let's uh, click on enable here let me just click save changes now let's go to the independent analytics so here you will see this module so click on here okay now it is saying that clear your cache so i will clear the cache now it will take some time to gather the data and it will show you the dashboard so let me just show you a another dashboard so here this is how the dashboard looks like in the front page and you can open this dashboard by clicking on here and here you can see the total number of views total number of visitors session bounce rate and you can see the graph of the traffic and here you can see the title of the blog post pages or category pages and here you can see the individual views in individual blog post and here you can see the session durations you can see the bounce rate and you can see the urls as well and it is also showing that the page type like it is a page category page or blog page or author archive page so you can easily track the number of views getting in each of the blog post and let's click on referrer here and here you can see the traffic source like whether it is coming from direct traffic or it is coming from google or any ad campaign or anything so you can see the traffic or referring traffic source and let's click on geographic here and here you can see the map here where your target audience is so that you can work according to your analytics data in wordpress so as you can see that the traffic is showing like this like i am getting traffic from these countries and here you can see number of visitors from each of the countries and you can also check the cities as well now let's click on the settings here 
and here you can enable dark mode in your analytics and you can track login user if you want and you can disable the admin toolbar if you want now you can set the fast days of the week and you can also block its IP address so that it will not add it to your analytics data or you can block by users like you don't want to add the analytics data from editors or authors or contributors then you can block certain roles so that it will not include those widgets in the analytics data and you can give permissions so now we have installed this plugin so let me just go to the page speed and earlier it is 127 kb with 10 requests so let me just rerun this test again and as you can see that there is no drop in score and the total request is increased so earlier it is 127 kb now it is 128 kb so which is bare minimum but you may see a little bit of difference like here I am using the delay JavaScript so that it is delaying the JavaScript code. But if you are not using performance plugin like WP Rocket Pop Matters, then you may see a little bit of drop in score. But if you are using any performance plugin, then it will be fine. So in this way, you can easily track your visitors and easily see the number of traffics you are getting and you can easily work upon your website according to the data. And here you can also see real time analytics if you upgrade to the pro version. But free version gives sufficient information so you can easily filter it out with timeline like this or you can filter with row like you can see title, view, session durations. So you can easily manage your traffic right from your WordPress dashboard. So this is a very good Google Analytics alternative that you can use in your WordPress website or you can use both Google Analytics and independent analytics simultaneously. So you can directly get key data in your dashboard and if you want to learn more about or in-depth data on analytics, then you can head over to the Google Analytics and you can see the real-time data and all the details data in Google Analytics. So if you found this video helpful, then make sure to hit the like button and do let me know if you are going to use this plugin in your website or not. So I am going to try this plugin and I will share you the updates in the comment section. So stay tuned for that. Bye bye.